Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods in Star Trek Bridge Commander. This has been requested quite a bit, so I thought I'd do a video to help you out. So first of all, the main mod I would recommend to start off with is Kobayashi Maru, as it adds tons of new ships, systems, um, Deep Space Nine effects, you can even go through the wormhole, things like that. So first of all, what you want to do is install Kobe, I'm uh, sorry, install Star Trek Bridge Commander. Now I'm assuming most of you are using the GOG version, uh, GOG Galaxy. Now I don't have that version, but the installation process is exactly the same. So all you'll do is, is go to program files, go to GOG Galaxy, open it up, games, and then Star Trek Bridge Commander will be in there and your folder will look pretty much like this. It's got STBC there. Now what you need to do is download Kobayashi Maru. I'm gonna put links in the description below so you can download it. It is quite a large download and it may take you a while. So once we've got it, so we've got it here, Kobayashi Maru, you just go in. You need to unzip it. I believe it's in a seven zip format. So unzip it, which will give you this folder. And then it's just a case of selecting data, scripts, SFX, SRC, tools, Hold it, holding down control so you don't select that one. Right click, I'm in Windows um, 11 here, click copy, paste over to here. It will then just say, are you sure you want to do this? Click yes. And it'll be like, are you really sure? Click yes again. It'll take quite a while to copy over. Once it's copied over, very, very important. Right click, run as administrator. If you don't do that, for some reason, Kobayashi Maru doesn't work properly. So half your ships will be missing, half of everything will be missing. Now, what will happen is when you first go into the game, depending on what sort of monitor you're running, you're probably gonna have some issues. So we'll just wait for it to load up and then I can show you. takes a while to load up Kobayashi Maru as well because it's such a bigger thing. Just hit escape when the movie comes on. Okay, now when you first load this up, it will all look really low resolution and awful. So configure and then you want to go down to additional resolutions and you've got more modern resolutions here. Uh, HD, full HD there, which is the one I use. You click that when you click it, the game will actually crash. It'll come up with a C runtime error. Don't worry about that, it's normal. Click, uh, press enter or click OK, which will escape out of it. And then the next time you start it up, so right click, run administrator, it will be in full HD. Now, another issue you're most likely going to have on a modern setup, when you launch Kobayashi Maru and Bridge Commander for the first time, half the screen will be missing or like a quarter of the screen so you'll probably just like see a window zoomed in about that big so what you want to do is right click uh, properties compatibility now what you want to do is change the dpi settings so click on the dpi settings click um, this one, override high DPI scaling behavior by application. Okay, apply, okay. That will fix it, basically. So it won't be zoomed in anymore and you should see the full screen. And apart from that, there's not really much else I can think of. Um, that should work absolutely fine. Now, the great thing about Kobayashi Maru is, is that you can add almost any other ship mod to it. So, I always put a link on my video showing you that really good website, um, Gamefront. That's probably the best one at the moment. There are other ones, which I will link below in this video. But yeah, just feel free to add ships. And it's basically the same process. You basically just, once you download, let's see, once you download a mod, have I got any mods in here? Yes, I do. Once you download a mod, it's the same thing as it was with Kobayashi Maru. So you've got data, scripts, SFX, just drag it over, overwrite, and away you go. Now in a future video, I'll show you how to install BC Remastered, but you will need a separate installation for that as it does not get on with Kobayashi Maru at all. Um, 
I'll show you what I've done. Let's see. Yeah, so I've got two installations here. This is my um, BC Remastered one. And this is my Kobayashi Maru one. Now there's also something called the four gigabyte patch, which I use. And basically it allows Star Trek Bridge Commander to see four gigabytes of RAM. So it will actually use more than, I believe it was limited to two gigabytes of RAM possibly, but it does help with stability. So I'd highly recommend that as well. I'll, if I can remember where the, where the link is, I'll put it below for you, but I'd highly recommend that. Great, well, um, good luck basically if you've not done it before. And if you have any issues, comment below and I'll do my best to help you. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.